because the kids are they're not being looked after because you're on the beach with Damon. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> the kids aren't accounted for because you were out shagging your uncle. You're yeah, right. Yeah, and where, where, where were you? I was asleep. Mm. <laughs> I was knackered. Okay. <laughs> House of the Dragon has become a very popular series for good reason, as it is a spin-off from Game of Thrones. Yeah, although it seemed like that what happened to Luke was an accident also. Whoa! Playing your cards very loud and free on you. I don't think that that's the dominant narrative at all, but um, you just showed your hand very clearly and I... Uh, Bring in Tim Green. I don't know. <laughs> no, I just mean to say that... Um, I feel less comfortable now. <laughs> With all the cast and crew that were involved with this project and how far it's come, today we wanted to discuss said cast and all of the great moments behind the set. The kids at Rhaenyra and Damon's wedding after having the most traumatizing 24 hours of their lives. <laughs> man to man. Yeah. They meant to enjoy a wedding. Yeah, that was us at the wedding. Like, <laughs> are you my cousin or my brother now? Or yeah. My husband or like, what? Yeah, I, I thought think we, we just were just betrothed, but now we're like <laughs> step by step. <laughs> But before we get into more of these moments, today's trivia question. What year did the first season of Game of Thrones premiere? Leave your guesses in the comments down below and stick around till the end of the video to find out if your answer was correct. Um, and you're f***ing funny, and you've got a nice face, oh, and you too. you're fit, and oh. um... Alright, okay, enough. Yeah. You know, got a nice face on your fit. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly became a football hooligan. Uh, the, Welsh the Welsh dragon. dragon. Whoa, that's so weird. I was think Anyway, uh, the Welsh dragon. Okay. In the season two finale of House of the Dragon, conversations fill the screen instead of big dragon battles. The lack of action for some, while a bit of a surprise, gives away for the show's actors to show off their talents and put to bed many of the season's central conflicts. Who would win in a fight between Jon Snow and Dale? Mate, I've got a dragon. Well, Dragon, listen, I have a lot of respect. I have a lot of respect for Jon Snow. Jon Snow! And wait, Jon Snow's a bad boy, don't get me wrong. Kit Harrington, lovely man, lovely guy, I have a lot of respect, but don't get it twisted. I would those brothers up. <laughs> Season two was cut short by two episodes, thanks to Warner Brothers' cost-saving measures following the Discovery merger, a merger many questioned at the time, and one that has sent shockwaves through HBO's programming slate. Northern is. Yeah, I'd also rather be a Stark. I just feel like they've got better yeah. <sighs> breakfast vibes. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah They yeah. have oh, like yeah, a yeah. chat at the, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Sausage, hash brown, beans. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> While this season was very much about the fits and starts of an early medieval war, season three is clearly going to be about total war, Condal said. This is good news, to be sure. Yeah. Ever? Yeah. You said that out loud. <laughs> I've read, I've read one book in my life. The internet, you're saying that. You're outing yourself. You're out yeah. The world Harry. knows that now. No, no. Have you read <laughs> one book Oh my ever. goodness. Harry, you're not embarrassed. <laughs> you will be. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's because I'm an audiobook guy. Hmm. The first season was excellent, fleshing out the characters and power dynamics, setting up the various players and circumstances that would lead to a war of succession. Speaking to Olivia Cook and Paddy Considine, that was really wicked. Not full name me. <laughs> <laughs> Do what I like. You're in righteousness. You're so convincing. As you as you are. <gasps> Ooh, the sound effects are so it's good. good, isn't it? It's really good. Get drip. Oh, it's, it's good, it's good. It's quite a good scene. A lot of people were wondering why the finale of season two didn't end with the Battle of Gullet, an iconic story beat from Fire and Blood that is the logical next point in the House of Dragon plot. Oh, where, where to begin? begin? Where to begin? <laughs> where to begin? What is my favorite? Uh, well, it's a tough one. I know what you're going to put. Really? Yeah. OK, yeah. come in. <laughs> <laughs> This let's very, see, yes. let's see. <laughs> One, two, three. Salt on all things. And sometimes I'm like, Fleming, the most beautiful man in the world. Wow. But I'm like, you're going to have a heart attack. You did attack. say this to me a lot. We were trying to give the gullet, which is arguably the most anticipated, well, I would say maybe the second most anticipated action event of Fire and Blood, trying to give it the time and space that it deserves, Condal said. What historical civil war is House of the Dragon based on? It's how to train your dragon. He said it today, didn't he? He said that today, yeah. I've never heard of it. The, the Battle of the Anvils in, <laughs> in medieval times, something like that. <laughs> just like rolled his eyes back and he said, the Battle of the Anvils. <laughs> what even is the Battle of the Anvils? <laughs> it's just made that up. 
But real quick, make sure you guys check out our Instagram page linked down in the description. There's a ton of interview moments and memes, so make sure you check it out and give us a follow. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Well, let's go back to his mom. Yeah, you're right. Oh, so ringing. Yes. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Were you rolling on that? I think I'm clever right oh, now. Oh, 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 oh. Fantastic. I used to wear a necklace that repelled Wi-Fi. <laughs> Along the way of the press tours that the cast has done, there was no shortage of games to be played or memes to react to. When your mom dies and your dad rushes to marry his niece who used to be married to your uncle. It's so convoluted, this family is, right? We're all related. Yeah. We're all connected in some way, shape or form. Yeah, yeah the family tree is a circle. <laughs> These two are iconic. And that is exactly what we did. Is most of the memes just incest jokes? Because I can imagine they probably are. The ensemble cast of HBO's House of the Dragon is one of the primary drivers of the show's success, with some of the most talented actors in the field today. Matt Smith has been utterly impeachable as Damon Targaryen, a far cry from his days on Doctor Who. What number doctor did Matt play tough on one. Doctor Who? That's a tough okay, one. I'm gonna say this. Ooh. I'm not sure. I'm gonna give you yeah, the number. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah. ready? Oh, it's that. Yeah. If I taken this off, yeah, let's see. And I'm right now. I think this is telepathic. Think, okay, here we go. One, ready? two, <laughs> go three. Ah, uh, three! Among other combination of characters in the series, scenes with Renera and Alicent stand out for being so thoroughly engaging, emotional, and personal, due to a large part to the on-screen chemistry between Darcy and Cook. You know what? It didn't... It didn't really come up for me when... It didn't really... I didn't come up for you. It didn't really come up for me. You, you, wow. weren't, you weren't present in the room when that happened. But how many sex scenes did you do? You didn't think of me in one of them. <laughs> And we were in your like your old bedroom as well. Yeah. Shit. I probably should have played that a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> Was it here? Was it there? The two individually phenomenal actors always escalate to another level when paired with each other, playing characters that carry years of history and heartache between them both. I sort of loved our eye for an eye scene just because like by day 74 of shooting that scene, we were delirious. And I've got an amazing <laughs> picture of you with like a really red like face swollen because of all the crying and <laughs> laughing you've been doing and all your plaits are just like, like this, like on top of your oh, head. Oh, it's oh, it's like, oh, it's a massive poo. If season three really is about total war, that's exactly what the show really desperately needs at this point. The second half of season two would have been much better if we'd sped things up a bit and gotten to some battles. What do you think? Probs. Really? Yeah. I get so overwhelmed. Yeah, but you'd, you'd bring a, a level of humanity to it and a patience and a kindness, I think, that would make a very good ruler. Do you fancy me or something? No, mate, just being nice <laughs> about you. Thank you. Condal also confirmed that the third season is currently being written. They'll be doing prep for it in the fall, with the plan to go into production in earliest 2025. When asked whether season three will also be eight episodes, as its second season was... Oh, who could that be? Now, who's technologically challenged? out of the, the cast. Uh, it's obviously not me, uh, it wouldn't be any of the... Uh, I feel like there's only one answer, Eve. What, what, what do you think, Eve? It's so unfair. Oh my god. Condal said, I haven't had discussions with HBO about it. I would just anticipate the cadence of the show from a dramatic storytelling perspective will continue to be the same from season two on. I hear Stephen go, Olivia, come meet my good friend Tom Cruise. And I just went, Mur! and I blacked out. <laughs> I blacked out, completely blacked out. But apparently, my friend ran to the top of the stage to watch this interaction, and apparently I bowed like a servant. <laughs> <laughs> like, boobs to knee. And as far as the answer to our trivia question of the day, the first time we got introduced to the Game of Thrones franchise was in 2011 on HBO, and concluded with Fire and Blood on June 29th, 2011. Hi, to my great delight, got uh, Sir Kristen Coles. Who did you get? Kristen Coles. <laughs> <laughs> I got Damon Targaryen. Yes. Um, I got Rhaenyra Targaryen. So you. That's, that's quite scary. It's scarily you. That's amazing. Yeah, wow, that is amazing. I'm witnessing you and admit he's a good person here. 
Oh, this is this is, this is he breaking I'm a news. good fella, and he is. He is a good. He is a good guy. But we wanted to turn this around to you guys. What do you think about all these moments? Which one was your favorite, and what are you mostly looking forward to in the next season to come? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications on for more videos just like this. That's it for today, though. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video. Bye guys. Over there. Oh, not oh, because no one yeah. wants to spend time with me. Out my smoke. <laughs> <laughs>